Are data privacy laws really helping? Or are they just putting more burden on the consumer? In the last few weeks, we've seen many countries, because of GDPR and other privacy regulations, start banning Google Analytics or not allowing certain aspects of Google to be able to be used with citizens in their country. At first glance, when you hear this, it might seem like a big victory for data privacy rights and that countries are actually limiting and controlling the data that big tech can get on their citizens. But they're forgetting one little thing. Unfortunately, whether we like it or not, big tech always wins, or in this case, Google always wins. This is not the end of the story. Do you really think that Google is just going to say, okay, we're not gonna gather data, we're not gonna do analytics, and we're basically not going to utilize a key part of our company that generates significant amount of revenue. No, it's real simple. All Google's going to do is push the burden back on consumers. So now if you're in those countries that initially banned Google Analytics, you now have to log in, fill out authorization forms, fill out consent forms, provide more information, and basically follow the regulation that states here's what a company has to do in order to follow the regulation. So Google's just gonna push all that work back on consumers. Now you might say yes, but consumers don't have to use Google. Wait, did you really say that? I know it sounds simple, yes, it's an opt-in solution. But unfortunately, we're in a situation where so many people are more reliant on Google than Google is reliant on them. So while it sounds simple that we can just boycott Google or not use Google anymore, that unfortunately isn't the reality. And what's going to happen because of these privacy laws, while they were meant to protect consumers, they're inadvertently going to make a lot more work and a lot more headaches for consumers because as these countries start banning services, all the services like Google are going to do is push the responsibility back on the citizens and make them do a lot more work. So at the end of the day, did privacy really win? Or once again, did Google win again?